All right, so our first light within the scene here is going to be the spotlight. The spotlight has so many things on it that the other lights do not have. Hit 7 on the keyboard and rotate this around. Okay, make sure you're hit you're in high quality rendering. That way you can see the real time effects. Also, I want to turn under lighting shadows on. We don't have any shadows yet, but we're going to get there. All right, so our first properties on this light is the probably the most important ones. We got uh, cone angle, penundrum, and drop off. Cone angle is just how big the light is. How much distance it's covering. The penundrum is the outside blur and the drop off is the inside blur. So together these make for a very low light. Usually I up the penundrum and then here I lower this just a little bit. Alright so now we got our scene and over here we should be able to render it. Okay. Don't forget you have to be in this window once, render it. There we go. Try that Good. Notice I've upped the size of all of my parts. Okay. I did that because one thing is I'm going to put a key light or a, a light in the background, commonly referred to as a backlight, but we're going to get to that. Right now, I'm just setting up this. This is commonly known as a key light. A key light actually just, his whole little world is to shadow one side of the object. And that's what it's doing right now. It's shadowing these these sides of the object. Now these are shadowed onto themselves. In order to shadow on other objects, I need to use depth of map shadows. And as soon as I turn that on, you can see the shadows, how they appear. But they are very grainy. Now, here's a common thing that people think. That if you up the resolution of these, they're going to get better. And they'll get better in a way, but they're not going to get really, really good. Another thing I want to do is page down here and turn off disk based D maps. I'm going to say overwrite existing D maps. Now, what this does, it allows the the actual map, which this is running on map technology. Anytime I hit render, it's writing to a map. And it can use that over and over again and get better every time. Okay, so let's kind of look at this and see if just by turning up the resolution that helps. You notice how long it's taking for the first render. It has a lot to do with the D map. So now I'm getting this shadow, but the shadow is kind of grainy. All right, now what you should know about the first couple attributes within the shadow is the filter size, bias, and fo and these two I'm not going to cover. But these two, if you notice, they're grouped together. Okay, and then this group, usually how it goes is the top number plays upon the group at the very strength of it. So this number has a lot to do how all the, these other numbers function. Filter size is always one of those things within Maya that you kind of want to look at because filter means blur. That's what it means, blur. Uh, even on maps, you'll see filter size out there. You might want to turn that down or off or 
you know, just to get a better render. Okay. So with it off, you can see that the shadows are now um, super contrasty. So that's the difference between blurring them and not having them blurred. Uh, a lot of times if you have blurred shadows, it's just the fact that, you know, the the distance between the object and the wall is a little bit greater. So you might want to use a little bit of filter just to capture that. The bias is kind of um, a way to anti-alias the outside edge of the shadow. Again, bias only works in conjunction with filter though. Hitting escape will cancel out a render. So my filter size, if I set that to and bias up and then go to render this, you're going to see that the shadows are softer. And the more filter size I apply, the more bias I add, the softer and softer the shadow is going to be. But notice they're still grainy. And that's going to happen a lot with this low, low resolution render. Now that you know the spotlights and we got um, the depth map shadows, I want to show you another property about depth map in the next video.